It comes down to if you want to give your power away, because we, we are in a world where what you say is not necessarily what they hear, yep. but you're not going to bring about change. You're not going to bring about aut autonomy if you give your power away to the people that are distorting the message. Yes, and we're putting all of our eggs in the sexual agency basket and sexuality and saying, like, if I can wear what I want, then we're going to have equality. It's like, that's not how it works. Well, it's not putting all your eggs in one basket because there, if you, if you look at just that one thing, then okay, you're looking at just that one thing. But if you read body language, if you listen to even a few sentences from somebody, yeah, right, you know uh, then more. you begin to pick up a lot of other cues. Uh, you know, these but are two very, these are two very confident young women. Uh, they're very well spoken. Mm -hmm. They're very up to speed on what's happening in in this area. So you can't talk to them for even five minutes and not realize yep. mm -hmm. that I completely agree these are you. intelligent, dialed mm -hmm. in women. So it doesn't take very long to get but that's what we're doing on this show. The reality is that the vast, and I'm not surprised by any of that. Of course, I knew everyone was going to be intelligent and well-spoken about this. It's that there's so much research about young women that only see these messages constantly replicated and reproduced, mostly through social media because it is so impactful right now. There is, there's research that shows that it's directly correlated to low self-esteem, increase in um, eating disorders, even suicide ide suicidal ideation. And it's, so that's the part that really troubles me, is that so thinking about that. So maybe that's the that. conversation that we should be having with our children and our teens versus. We can, yeah. but also just don't call some of this stuff empowerment and feminist right. empowerment. Right, but I would it's, also. Yeah, and particularly also on listen. Instagram, right. because their own research. Yes, they yeah. validate Shows that, that e even young girls, particularly 11 to 13, come away with poor body image and poor self-image and a degree of depression mm -hmm. when they spend time on Instagram and it's because of comparison. Yes. You know, they're is, comparing yeah. themselves to what are oftentimes filtered, certainly posed sometimes after taking three or 400 pictures before mm -hmm. one is posted. So it's a, it's a faulty but image. But they don't know right. that. And of course, and of you course want they families don't know that. to talk right. about right. that. Of we course. want media literacy. And it, also goes, and it also goes to show that women aren't doing this in general for in the, in the quest for equity. It's about the quest for attention. It's about the quest to, to, to make themselves feel better about themselves through their body image. And I'm loving the trend on Instagram where I see this was this is my body before and this is my body 10 seconds later after I let things hang out. So that yeah. that's good to see. Love seeing that too. Love I think that's that. really empowering. I think obviously yeah. we need to see that too. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.